Cause finally the tables are starting to turn Talk about a revolution yeah. Cause finally the tables are starting to turn I learned this song by heart this year, maybe not on this guitar, it's a kid guitar. I feel like we're in a revolution right now, right now. Like shooting at night. Oh my gosh, and then the sweat on my body shooting at night, guys, because night or day, the content must come. And I'm just sweating and talking about a revolution. Like a whisper. I have my rock starness in me, man. Don't mess. Don't mess. It's in me. You know, I was growing up and I used to be made fun of so much for this voice that I have, like brutally, many times. And then suddenly one day, I heard talking about a revolution and fast car on the radio, only to be told that it's a woman. I was like, oh. I don't think you understand. I was shook. Tracy Chapman's voice and message changed how I saw myself. It was a black woman with a deep voice who was thriving. And I was really young, because talking about a revolution, I think, came out in the 80s. Um, and it really was about a revolution for human rights at the time, if you listen to the song. But her voice was magic and silky and deep. It was deep, it was deep like mine, and I could not stop listening to her. And it was the first time I was able to turn around how I felt up, my insecurity about my heavy voice. Because I used to be called, and I've said this before many times, I used to be called frog voice by kids. Like, I'd be trying to sing with kids in the choir and I couldn't hit those high notes. And they'd call it frog voice. And then suddenly, here was Tracy Chapman. I know the other day she was giving her flowers at the Grammys, but like from back in the day, I have loved Tracy Chapman. And I used to listen and I kind of just saw myself differently from then. I know it sounds strange, but maybe somebody can relate to how you can be insecure about something because I always felt different from or different than, and I was made fun of. And when you're a kid and you're made fun of, it's hard. It's hard to feel like you're normal. And then starting to see more people who look like me in different spaces, women with guitars, whether it was Tracy Chapman, whether it's, you know, Susanna Owe or whatever it was, like it, it was so good to eventually begin to see more people that I could relate to, but Tracy Chapman, OG guys. Was that about your insecurity? Yeah, I was very insecure. But first of all, I like the way I'm trying to see you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm seeing this I'll light. And I don't have makeup. If you're tuning into this, guys, if you're on our platform, please don't watch it to see a face beat all the time. I have nothing on my face, but I tried with the lipstick and the glasses, and I'll, very soon you'll see why I'm wearing the dress I'm wearing. But anyway, about insecurities, yes. My voice was an insecurity for me. The way I looked, the way I dressed, I was just a very awkward, skinny, strange, deep-voiced girl. And so I was peculiar. And I had grit. I pushed back. I was either one of the guys or none of the girls or one of the girls and none of the guys. It was just a very strange kind of in-between to be. And not knowing that your insecurity was your gift. Look at that. Oh gosh, the kids are coming. <laughs> Not knowing that one day my insecurity would be something that would, yeah, it was a gift that God gave me this gift and it allowed me to kind of use my voice in different platforms, um, which is so powerful. I think with insecurities, every single person in this world has them, even the people who we don't think have them. And <laughs> Hang on. This is what happens when we film at night. Come. Kadogo! Moment of. A moment of. <laughs> do you do you have a story about how an insecurity turned into something else? Yes. Yeah. I was not able to socialize instantly. Mm. But that's okay. I feel like that's a form of self-preservation. Yeah. And a lot of people have that most. More people than we think. If you talk to so many people, there's even videos and articles about how to socialize because yep. there's so many people who struggle and I think it's an insecurity sometimes your insecurity is your saving grace yes sometimes it's it's <laughs> preserve it's preserving you for when that energy is needed in a certain situation or for a certain person 
Um, there's some insecurities that can, can paralyze you. Mm -hmm. And that's when you need to maybe look into it. Is, it. is it actually compromising your quality of life? Is it compromising healthy relationships? Is it compromising your ability to thrive? Um, but by and large, parts of them, I think... Are for self. Are for self-preservation. But I, I know some insecurities are really crippling and hard. So I don't want to generalize because I know some people really struggle with deep insecurities that are deeper and bigger than what we're saying. So, but or the even, message... Or mm. even triggered by that parties. I, it oh could my be God. A, yeah, that's true. an experience. Yeah. And that's really traumatic. Yes. So I don't want to generalize because mm. insecurities as a conversation is very broad. But your insecurities on the spectrum of how you deal with them and how you choose to turn them into your power is I think where we started this conversation is I just never really thought my voice, this voice which I used to be so insecure about and shy about. Okay, my family were great about it and I think that helped me in a very big way. But still in social settings as a kid, it came up a lot and I was really insecure about it and I felt weird and I was outcast sometimes, not all the time, until this moment when I was like, oh, Oh, you can have this and be great. Like something small that can plant something in your mind. She looks like me. She sounds like me. Of course, her voice is, is more baritone and she's a singer. But I was like, huh. So it can be great. So it can be a gift. Never knowing I'd ever end up in media or on TV. But then somehow remembering when, every time I was insecure about trying for media I remembered you can still do it because you saw someone do it and you, you pushed yourself to push through your insecurities. And so if you can do that, and like I said, what we're saying with Moss is so much broader because insecurities is a triggering, complex conversation. But for the things that hold you pack, pack, back, how can you begin to turn it into something else? Are my glasses dirty? Because I feel like my glasses are dirty and I feel like the, sh the light is shining off my glasses and I feel like I'm shining. But I love myself, Moss, and I just, I love me, but I just feel like there's a lot going on. Guys, don't be insecure, Janet. <laughs> just had a whole video on insecurity, and now I'm like, oh my God, do I look pretty today. I don't feel pretty, and that's also fine. I love you guys, by the way. Man, like, I really love how you guys are resonating with our conversation, so thank you. Thank you. I'm going to keep talking about a revolution with Tracy Chapman. Because in my big age, I can convert my insecurity into power. In my big age, <laughs> I can convert my insecurity to power. They call it pain to power. So what is your pain to power point? How are you navigating it? Because no matter what you tell yourself, you are bigger than your insecurities. And I wish more people were told that because I don't think they hear it enough.